Today I'm right along the Hudson River, right next to the iconic Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum. And so far, it's been a pretty good day because I had a really nice lunch. I went to one of the city's most notable hot dog restaurants, Gray's Papaya. I wanted to go there for a couple of reasons. One, it's a famous restaurant that's well reviewed that I haven't been to. And two, it's an affordable restaurant. You see, the other day I had dinner at the New York location of O Cheval and had their famous burger with a side of fries. And including tax and tip, I paid almost $60, which just seems ridiculous. I mean, it was just a burger and freaking fries. This isn't some fine dining white tablecloth type of food. It just seems ridiculous that I spent that much and my bank account doesn't like it. Granted, it was one of the best burgers that I've ever had and I'll have a full video showcasing my experience. But in the meantime, I needed to go to someplace a bit more affordable. So that's one of the reasons why I went to Gray's Papaya today. In fact, they have a sort of combo meal there called the Recession Special, which seems very much in my price range right now. And this was the lunch I had today at Gray's Papaya. Located on the corner of Broadway and 72nd Street, Gray's Papaya has served as a landmark for the area over the course of a half a century. The restaurant was founded in 1973 by Nicholas Gray, who was a former partner of Papaya King. I really enjoyed my experience when I dined at Papaya King. So far, their hot dogs are my favorite in the city. In fact, it was Papaya King that introduced and popularized the mix of hot dogs and tropical fruit drinks, which spawned a number of imitators like Gray's Papaya. However, Gray's Papaya has certainly made a name for itself, and it's considered by many to sell some of the best hot dogs in NYC. When I got to the establishment, I waited in a small line, but it moved pretty quickly. Soon enough, I was relaying my order. I got the Recession Special, which consisted of two francs and a medium tropical drink for $6.95, and that even included tax. There are a few tables outside and a couple of tables inside against the windows, but there are no seats. Gray's Papaya is the type of place where one goes for a quick bite without any lingering. I had my lunch standing up, looking out the window, and enjoying the view. First, I tried my beverage. In terms of their tropical drinks, Gray's Papaya offers flavors such as banana, coconut, and pina colada, but I went with their namesake, the papaya juice. I really enjoyed it. It was fresh and creamy with a nice level of sweetness. In addition, it didn't have any garbage artificial flavors. It was very tasty. Turning my attention to the hot dogs, I got them topped with all of the free toppings, which included sauerkraut, onions, and relish. I had to get my money's worth. Of course, one could add other components such as chili and cheese, but those come with an extra cost. My first bites were incredibly satisfying. The dogs are grilled on a flat top, which gives them a really solid snap. Flavor-wise, it's everything one could want in a hot dog. The sausages are apparently all beef, and the quality certainly shows. Plus, the toppings I chose paired beautifully with the meat, lending a nice sweetness and tartness. The buns were decent, but nothing special. They certainly did their job, though, by cradling the frank wonderfully without any mess. And just like I experienced at Papaya King, the sweet and salty combination of fruit juice with hot dogs proved to be very pleasing. Overall, I was just really happy consuming my lunch at Gray's Papaya. The food, of course, was delicious, but I was getting a true New York experience for not a lot of money. In fact, I really appreciate a sign on the restaurant's exterior that recommends the establishment when one is, quote, hungry or broke or just in a hurry. Gray's Papaya truly caters to everyone. No doubt about it, those are some good hot dogs and a very pleasant fruit drink. Compared to Papaya King, I really can't say which is better. I mean, they both tasted so similar and I'd have to have them side by side, but the fact of the matter is I really enjoyed both of them. Although I do really appreciate the fact that Papaya King has those curly fries, I would have loved to have munched on something in between bites of my hot dogs at Gray's Papaya. Because the fact of the matter is I was still hungry after finishing my hot dogs and papaya juice. But luckily, this is New York City and there are plenty of options. So I went down to Hell's Kitchen and I got some dollar pizza. Well, it was actually $1.50 pizza. Even dollar pizza is kind of a rarity in NYC these days, but it's dollar pizza in spirit and I can definitely afford the extra 50 cents. I did like how the restaurant kind of subtly tacked on that 50 cents to the sign. So tiny, but it's there. Regarding dollar pizza in general, it's all right. I mean, at its best, it can certainly satisfy a pizza craving, and the slice I had today was decent in that respect. 
So finishing my slice, I still needed a dessert. I still needed something sweet, so I walked a few blocks south and went to one of my favorite cookie spots in NYC, Schmackeries. I just love that place. I've been there a ton of times and every cookie that I've had from the establishment has been excellent. It's been super fresh, very flavorful, and plus they've got some pretty interesting flavors as well. Today I tried the banana split cookie and it was absolutely delicious. Plus I got it for only $3.75, which is quite a bargain for NYC, especially considering its quality. But of course, I still needed my coffee. So I went right around the corner to Gregory's, got my caffeine hit, did a little reading, and concluded a very enjoyable lunch. This has certainly been a very enjoyable afternoon, and Gray's Papaya is without a doubt an iconic New York City hot dog restaurant. It's just so nice to have quick and affordable options like that when it seems like everything is just getting more and more expensive. But the fact of the matter is, even if I was rich, I would still go to Gray's Papaya because they serve great food, and that's the most important thing of all. 